Okay, here I have the shadow chassis and this will be a quick tutorial about how to put everything together along with the Redbot kit and the SIK kit for Redbot. To start off with, the shadow chassis doesn't need any additional tools, but we will need to start off by snapping these parts out of the bases. Now that we've unsnapped everything out of the base plates, uh, it's a real easy assembly for the chassis. You just push everything together, or if you want to take it apart, you pull it apart. Don't use any additional tools, or you could break these little nubs. To start off, if you have the SIK kit for Redbot, you're going to have these encoder magnet plates, and we need to put those on the motors to begin with because they're really hard to locate once you put everything together. So we're just going to snap those onto the motors right now. Next, we're going to take the Hall Effect sensors and we're going to put them through our encoder mounts. What you're going to want to do is take the Hall Effect sensor, sensor side up, and you're going to loop it through from shiny side to the darker side to the dark side. And you're just going to loop that through a couple of times and push it through the end and you're going to do this for both sides. Now that we have weaved our Hall Effect sensors through their holding, we can just snap those into the base plate. Now that we've attached that to the base plate, we're going to take our motors and we're going to take our rear mounts and our front mounts and we're just going to attach them. When you're attaching the rear mounts, you're going to want to put it on sideways and then twist it on so that it has a good snug fit. Now that we've got our rear and front plate on our motors, we're going to attach these to our base plate. You want to make sure that the flat side is facing out and of course your magnet encoder is facing your Hall Effect sensor. Now we have our motors mounted, so now we're just going to put our wheels directly onto the motor, which is real simple. You just line up the slot and stick it right on. Line up the slot and stick it right on. Next, we're going to take our line following boards, the three of them, if you have the Redbot or the SIK for Redbot, or you just happen to buy these on your own. We're going to take the mount and we're just going to place those in, put the board on top of it, and snap that into the base plate. Okay, now we're gonna put together the bumper boards if you have the SIK kit for Redbot. Um, this is just some screws, some whiskers, and mounting the boards onto the top plate. Okay, so we're just going to screw these in. Uh, your whiskers, you're going to want to bend them. Uh, you can do that in the little tiny hole in the side of the board. When you're screwing them in, you want to make sure that it doesn't hit the nut and the screw because that's going to be what causes the signal to send saying that the bumper has been hit. Uh, they recommend that you bend these and you can do it in any crazy shape that you would want to but just make sure that you're not shorting that circuit unless you want to be shorting it. Now we're just going to connect all five of our three wire jumper cables. Uh, these three will be going to our line sensors. These two will be going to our bumper sensors. Now that we've got all of that wired up, we can take our little stabilizer and we can go ahead and put that right into the bottom plate. Just snaps right in. And then we can take all of our side struts, and we can connect the top and the bottom plate. Now we're going to attach our main board mounts right onto the top. It's just right there, the only two that haven't been used yet. And then we can snap our red board or our red bot board or any Arduino directly into those with the different sizes. Now we're just going to plug in all of our sensors, including the accelerometer and the buzzer. If you want specifics about what goes where with the SIK kit for Redbot, you can go ahead and look at the tutorial for that. I'm just really quickly going to hook everything up. Now that we've got everything wired to our Redbot board, we're just going to put in our batteries and hook it right on in. The batteries can be accessed at any time and taken out. It just takes a little bit of 
snapping the carrier off. And there you have it, the new shadow chassis with all of its parts.